welcome back to my channel. Today is Vlogmas day two. If you guys missed day one, Chase and I decorated our Christmas tree with you guys and we had a lot of fun. It's definitely one of our favorite family traditions and the whole goal for Vlogmas this year is to really bring you guys into our home for the holidays. We want you to feel like you are here in our home spending Christmas with us and so in order to do that we first need to decorate the house for Christmas. We will be decorating our entryway, this front library sort of room, um, our living room, our dining room, and the kitchen. So I'm really excited. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I haven't done anything like this before, but if you guys are interested, I would really love to do more decorate with me type videos and just really bring you in and show you how I make military base housing our home. So definitely give this video a thumbs up if you guys are excited to decorate with me. Leave me a comment down below. I would love to know what style you guys decorate for Christmas. Um, we are very traditional traditional classic Christmas. I really want it to feel like we're home for the holidays even when we aren't but with all that being said I'm gonna go ahead and turn my Christmas music on maybe pour a cup of hot chocolate or coffee and then get to decorating. I like to begin my decorating over here in this corner by our family Christmas tree. We don't have a very big entertainment center or any sort of mantle to hang our stockings from, so I really like to use our bookcase. I think it helps hide some of the empty spaces on our bookshelf, and I really enjoy having the stockings right beside the Christmas tree. So I really love these gold stocking holders. I got these I think two years ago from TJ Maxx and then we are also using new stockings this year. These white ones with our initials are from Target and then these red ones are my favorite. They're so adorable. These ones are from TJ Maxx and we're using them as the dog stockings this year. fun way to display all of my Christmas wrapping paper. I have so many beautiful, fun, and festive patterns that usually just get stored away until I need them. So I found this bucket that's Christmas themed from Walmart and I'm just putting all of my wrapping paper inside of it. At first I wasn't sure how this would turn out but I really do think it's so cute and it also fills in this empty space by the front door. entryway table is my favorite spot in the house. I've just decorated with so many special sentimental pieces but it is a pretty busy area. There's a lot going on so I did want to keep it fairly simple when it came to the Christmas decor but both of these trees are from TJ Maxx. I think they're so beautiful and unique especially this glass tree. It lights up and it just makes the whole table and front entrance feel so cozy and magical. I 
found this piece of garland that I believe we got from Hobby Lobby last year, but we never really found a place we loved for it, and I was feeling like I really needed to break up all of the gold tones and the browns going on, so I kind of placed it on this table. I wasn't sure about it at first, but I do think I really like it, especially at night with that little tree lit up. It just feels so magical. center isn't very big and I don't like a whole lot of clutter over here. I really like to wind down on the couch in a clean and organized space so I'm just putting a few little Christmas trinkets to add the festive coziness but um, I do like to keep this area pretty simple. This gift box and the tree, I think actually all of this is from Hobby Lobby. into the dining room. We use our buffet table as more of a beverage bar for hosting and gatherings. We really enjoy pouring our friends a cup of coffee or offering a cocktail, so I don't like to clutter up this table too much, but the Christmas mug set you saw earlier, I don't remember where it's from. We got it last year, but most of my decor is from Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx, Target, Home Goods, places like that. This little gift box that I'm placing on this bar tray is from Hobby Lobby as well as a gold believe sign that you'll see me place here in a little bit. This cabinet is actually from Ikea, but it was a recent Facebook Marketplace purchase. I did a pretty poor job of repainting it, but I do like how it turned out overall and it's been a lot of fun to decorate, so I was really looking forward to adding some Christmas to the shelves. I'm just currently rearranging some of these glasses to add in this Christmas card holder that I bought from Target this year. I love getting Christmas cards in the mail. We always save them each year, and so I was really excited to be able to to display a few that we've gotten over the years and then I'm just going to be adding in a few Christmas touches to the upper shelves like um, a random tree and then a snow globe I got from my grandma and then just a couple of Christmas ornaments to add in some color and a Christmas cheer to this little cabinet.
stockings we bought at Hobby Lobby for our very first Christmas as a married couple and even though we have new stockings to use this year I could not bring myself to store these away so I thought that these would be so adorable hanging from the little knobs of this cabinet. Next is my nutcracker tree. I started collecting nutcrackers last year and I just love how this tree turns out. I use our leftover ornaments from the family tree and the star tree topper that we used to use and I just love how this tree turns out. It's so much fun. It brings in a lot of warmth to our dining room and I just think it's so cute. Last place I decorated was the kitchen. The kitchen basically just gets all of the leftover Christmas decor that didn't make it to the rest of the house, but I really like how the kitchen turned out this year. I think it just feels so cozy. I just put in a few Christmas utensils I got from Hobby Lobby. It just became in a pack of two from the Dolly Parton line. And then that red ornament we've had, I think since last year, that gold tree I bought at TJ Maxx and the Christmas countdown, I think is from Target as well as this comfort enjoy sign. This Santa mug is one of Chase's favorite Christmas pieces that we have so I couldn't leave him out but I felt like it needed a little bit of something so I'm just filling him with these random pine cones I had. I don't think I've ever used these just because I never knew what to put them in but I think they look really cute in this mug. struggled with the side of the oven. I just could not for the life of me figure out what I wanted to go over here or how I wanted things placed and arranged, but I'm so excited about this Letters to Santa box. I bought it from Target this year and I just think it looks so beautiful and special and I was really impressed with the quality. I think it's going to be a piece that we look to every single year. I feel like it really draws your attention and I can't wait to have kids to put little letters in the box and um, I don't know. I just think it's such a beautiful piece. Okay guys, that is all for my decorate with me for Christmas video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I had so much fun decorating for Christmas this year and I just love how our house turned out. Chase got home from work and said it just felt so cozy and magical and I was so happy to hear that. That's my number one goal. I just remember growing up decorating with my mom and my grandma every Christmas and it's a tradition that I just cherish so much. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so excited to spend Christmas with you guys this year through all of our vlog video so be sure to tune in every single day for a new vlogmas video i really hope that you guys um, enjoy all the content we'll be making throughout the month and i will see you guys in the next one